guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my Christmas um, bits and pieces and we're going to just continue on um, making some more gorgeous Christmas bits of ephemera. So, yep, I've got my, t uh, I was going to call them 12 by 5, they're 5 by 7 envelopes. Um, and obviously these open, you know, with quite a big kind of flap. So what I thought we could do is I've got some vellum pieces here that I printed from the kit. And I thought we could do a vellum kind of pocket on the reverse side of the envelope. So let me just pick pick the one that's going to look best on here. So I'm thinking this one. So all I want to do is obviously cut this down kind of to size. So I'm just going to cut this down here. Now it doesn't have to be as big as the envelope obviously. Um, because I'm going to stitch it around the envelope if you see what I mean. But what I'd like is obviously it to be, you know, across there really. So, yeah, what I think I'll do is I'm going to just fold it in. So as I know roughly where I want to cut it. And to be honest, I might actually just tear it. I hope this is going to tear okay. I haven't actually tried tearing this particular vellum. So this is, well, I don't know whether it would be classed as tracing paper or vellum to be fair. I think it was just called transparent paper. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's thicker than normal um, like vellum or tracing paper. It's quite a bit thicker. So um, I think it was, oh, I'm trying to remember how many GSM it was. Um, oh, I can't remember. I feel like it might have been 150 or something like that. It's quite thick much much thicker than the general kind of tracing paper that I've had before and that you know I generally would would have used um much more like a vellum to be honest so yeah but yeah I just thought it would be quite nice to get something a bit different so just going to take that down across there and then across the bottom as well okay Whoops. Okay, let's hope that I've somehow cut that reasonably straightish. Let's just see. Yeah, so I want to have that on this side of the envelope as a pocket up here. So I just want to stitch it on basically in three sides. I'm so sorry that it's very dark. It's quite late in the day today, and um, but I just really wanted to crack on and do this video. Now I'm going to try and open the envelope up so that I can stitch it down without stitching around the envelope, if you see what I mean. Because ordinarily, if I was stitching this, I would have to stitch it, you know, the envelope kind of closed. And I don't really want to do that. I would prefer to have the envelope opened out and then be able to stitch it around like that and then glue the envelope back closed, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to try and do that. Um, luckily it opened out quite nicely. Now I'm just going to glue it into place purely so it's not moving around when I'm trying to stitch it because obviously this envelope is um, you know folded out it's going to not be that easy to put through the sewing machine so I'm going to have to kind of like squish the envelope up a bit which I fear if I didn't actually glue this into place a little bit all that's going to happen is my vellum and is going to be moving about. So just by gluing it into place, I've got kind of a starting point there from which to go on like that. Now I'm going to as well take a little bit of lace and I'm going to just stitch that across at the bottom as well. And again, just because it would make sense to do this whilst the envelope is in its open form. Now, sometimes you can, you know, pull the envelopes apart. Sometimes you can't. It just kind of depends on the envelope, really. I mean, obviously, this one, I have coffee dyed it. So, you know, I guess you could say that the glue has kind of weakened a bit, um, which is why it's obviously, you know, proved much easier to actually kind of tear it open than it would have done maybe if I hadn't have... Um, coffee dyed it so but that's all good that's, that's a good thing so let's just put this down here like that okay just wondering whether I want to have any other lace on there 
whether I prefer just this one. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to go for both, I think. So, yeah, let's just kind of put that to, to the side, ready to go to the sewing machine. So I'm going to probably build up a few different things that maybe are going to go there. Um, and then, you know, I can do everything kind of in one go. So what was the other things? I thought I had some... Um, you know, junk mail envelope here, but I can't actually see any now. Uh, but I have got this longish envelope. Now, this one we said was going to be too long to go into the, um, you know, the box. So I'm just having a look. Now, do we want to refold this down like an envelope? I mean, we could just stitch around it, to be honest, and then cut it down. Um, or we could like refold it in. I'm kind of thinking maybe just stitch around it, to be honest. What do you guys think? Hmm, I wonder how much shorter than the box it was. I can't be bothered to bring the box in because the box has got like all the paper that I'm planning on using piled up on it at the moment. So, yeah, I think it would be a dicey thing to actually bring it in. So I'm thinking if I kind of take it into about there. Oh, do you know, I might be better off just... Yeah, just maybe gluing this down. Let's just have a look. Okay. Right, let's just open that out. Okay. Now, what's going on here? Right, okay, so I need to then bring this in. Ooh, nearly cut that the wrong way. So like that, and then just, oops, just so that if I want to keep it kind of more envelope-y, you know, like it was, oh my goodness, what a terrible job I've made of that. Let's just cut that down so that, so that it's looking a little less lopsided and a bit more kind of like weird on both edges. Okay, yeah, that will do. Um, so then I want to just snip this off here. <clears throat> so again, just kind of take that in like that. Okay, and yeah, that will go in here like that. And then that will glue into there. Right, okay. So yeah, let's just cut that piece down here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Now, is that rounded? Yep, yeah, that's rounded on that side as well. Oops. I mean, this is actually that glued, you know, gummed, gummed flap. So I probably will cover that over with some paper and things because otherwise it's a bit, a bit gummy, a bit sort of gluey and sticky. But that's fine. So I think I might want to put some um, decorative paper in here as well so yeah let's just glue this piece down <clears throat> yeah okay so I quite like that now I'm just wondering do I want to put some paper inside some of the patterned paper so let me just have a look I've got some here that I have not coffee dyed yet so I had kind of been in the process of coffee dyeing it, so um, yeah, some is not not coffee dyed just yet. So I'm just thinking if I take this one, for instance, just snip that down, and could I have that going inside the envelope? That might be quite pretty, mightn't it? Okay, so I just need to obviously cut this down because at the moment it's way, way, way too big to fit inside the envelope. So, yep, let's just take that down there. Okay. And just then tear that down. Okay. And that will just poke into there like that. Okay. So I probably want it more out there. And then obviously I've got that whole section will be 
cut off so yeah so let's just go in here just apply some glue and then obviously a lot of glue where the fold line is just so it's kind of pressed down properly whoops and then around the edge of the flap itself so let's just take that and we'll pop that in Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. <clears throat> Just try and smooth that out. Like that. Okay, and again from the other side as well. Okay, so then I can just cut that down. that looks quite nice doesn't it and then obviously I can just decorate that envelope up so I just press it down along the fold Ooh, if I can still see even where the fold was I think it was about here Ooh. never that easy doing it when it's wet I find but when you're doing a video obviously you just want to kind of get on you don't want to just be waiting around for it to dry so anyway that's fine and then obviously I can just burnish that into the the fold point. Okay. Okay, looking good. So that's another kind of piece done. Now again, just wondering whether I could have this as oh I was gonna say as some sort of journal, but yeah, that's probably kind of going a bit a bit OTT. What do we think? Probably. Probably. Right, so let's put that to one side for a moment. So yeah, I mean obviously I'm doing lots and lots of envelopes and things like that because I want the journal to, or the the piece, you know, it's inspired by kind of Amity Bloom's um, heirloom envelopes. Like I said in the uh, previous video, inspired by, not identical to. Um, you know, so yeah, definitely kind of not... Um, it's probably not going to resemble them at all, let's be honest. Um, but loosely inspired by them in the first instance. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you kind of watch this and then you think, well, that does not look anything like them, then, oh, I've got my get out of jail card, you know, saying, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to make it look like them. No, I'm not. I, it's just kind of inspired by them. So more like a pile of stuff, even if they're not all envelopes rather than um you know a a journal or a complete piece if you see what i mean so yeah let's just have a look and see what we might like to do with this one now i'm just wondering what would this be like you know if we tried to build up a couple of envelopes like with different size envelopes if you see what i mean <clears throat> probably pretty rubbish to be honest I'm probably just now just, you know, spouting utter, utter rubbish, really, but <laughs> bear with me. I'm just kind of um, playing around with ideas here. I've got a CD case as well. And again, you know, how gorgeous is that lovely crinkly noise? Because I want everything to just be really super crinkly and, you know, yeah, super, um, you know, tactile and... Um, Oh, what's the word? You know, what's the equivalent of tactile but for noise? Oh, I don't know. Can't think of the word. But yes, anyway, that's, that's how I'd like it to be. It's super, super tactile and super soundy. Let's just call it that while I can't think of the word. I realise that's not a word, but I can't think what the word would be. Right, so this obviously CD envelope. I'm just wondering how to kind of do this. So I'm thinking glue this flap down here cover it all and then have the opening here instead if you see what I mean if it's going to be stuck on there and then this side I'm just wondering that's not going to work is it no I guess I could have a couple of flaps like that 
so like a kind of mini little folio -y type thing might be quite cute won't it and actually what we could do is then have this like a wrap around closure oh let's do that yeah that sounds quite exciting doesn't it right so for the envelope for the cd envelope let's do that first so yeah i feel like i need to tackle this one step at a time so i'm going to close this off with some glue like that okay let me get a wipe okay like that and then probably want to cover over the back and possibly over this flap if you see what I mean so that I've made it slightly more robust in you know in thickness instead of just single envelope so yeah let's bring in Bring in a bit of the decorative paper and again you know I'm not going to spend ages worrying about which paper I've chosen I'm just going to go for it so this is that leftover piece that we used just now I'm just going to go for that it's fine okay so all over the flap and especially again down that crease like that okay and then obviously on this outer edge which is going to be you know stuck down here so let's just pop that down there okay because all we're wanting to do really is strengthen where the fold is so let's just glue that down like that okay like that okay, okay right and then a bit this side as well so I'm just going to yeah take that up here okay and then let me just dab off that glue because I'm so super messy I've now got glue everywhere right we're just going to cut around here I actually can't wait for this to be finished because I feel really excited like this is just going to be something really really yummy just be really horrified and it might just turn out to be something really really rubbish um oh but in my mind it's going to be something so yummy and scrumptious but yeah I don't know <laughs> stranger things have happened I know I'm always saying that lately that seems to be my new buzzword instead of like obviously or literally I'm saying all the time you know stranger things have happened but hey stranger things have happened Right, so I'm going to put that there like that and then this one I'm going to wrap around as well. So it's got like two kind of flaps. So obviously I want to put something inside the um, CD envelope as well. So let's just kind of open that out like that. Okay, because the pocket I want to be on this side. So I'm just going to check that these little bits are glued down properly. Yeah, okay, right. So liking how that is so far, I mean, not that there's really anything much going on there, but then I'm wondering what to put inside. So could this be an ideal piece, I wonder? Let's just see. Oops, well, not really, because I've now cut that boy's head off move it like that rather cut his feet off than his head oh hang on a minute I make this mistake every time because actually he's got to be much lower because I want him to be in the circle rather than do you know what I mean in the circle rather than not in the circle if that makes sense so yeah going to do that right okay let's wing and a prayer time let's just hope for the best here I mean to be honest if I make a right mess of this who cares <laughs> just put something else in there oh I'm not going to stress too much um oh I'm so sorry it's getting really dark I just was really excited I wanted to come and do this and I've um been kind of out all day so yeah we went bowling I probably talked about this before 
because I suspect I would have talked about it in my mask making, so I won't ramble on about it, but yeah, today's the day. So, um, yeah, we've been out, and then obviously when I came back, I couldn't wait to obviously get on with this. So, hence I'm here now doing this. Right, I'm going to cut this down slightly on this edge, because I'm not sure whether it's going in, if you know what I mean. And then I'm just going to cut it down, oops, cut it down here, like that, okay. Right, okay, feeling excited. Oh, I hope that I've judged this okay. And he's just going to be visible. Oh, I'm so sorry, honestly, I'm losing the light by the minute. Oh, let's just quickly go round. It's just getting darker and darker. Uh, that's the only thing, you know, with the clocks obviously going back is it then obviously gets so dark and you know you really kind of are very very limited on your time for doing videos um you know compared to like the summer i mean not that i tend to do them in the evenings very often but you know you have at least got that sort of extra bit of afternoon in the winter you're very kind of restricted to the time right you were making a swing for what mm, nice one Oh, that's nice then, isn't it? Right, okay. What were you making that on? I'm going to just spread this down. I think I might have to spread it on this side. I hope I don't get glue all over the window. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the swing. I see what you're saying. Was that something you made before we went out earlier as well? See, just a fellow crafter there. She's also made things to come back to. <laughs> No, you mustn't use the hot glue. Definitely, definitely mustn't use the hot glue. Maybe maybe in a bit. Yeah, let me just do some of this. Just quickly before the light is going. Right, now again, I'm thinking reinforce the envelope by putting some of this inside it. So, yeah, let's put some of this. So I'm just going to literally fold this over to here. <clears throat> Is that your brother just come in? Maybe. Uh, your brother? Go and have a look, see if his car's there. Okay, right, let's put that like that and I'm just going to yeah. No? Sounded like his car. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, sure. Go and have another look. Because sometimes he parks right up. And you might not be able to see it, you know, because he's only got a mini. So um, our roof kind of overhangs slightly and then you wouldn't be able to see his car. Right, so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? So I'm just going to pop that into there, like that. Okay. In a minute, okay. I just quickly do this because I just want to quickly do this before any last bits of daylight go and I'm very very limited now so I'm just going to put that all like that like that and oops I do want it going in obviously far enough so it's not visible here okay oh Quickly, quickly, before the sun goes completely. Well, I mean, not that there's any sun, it's got to be said. But that last little chink of daylight. Now, I'm not too worried because I'm actually going to chop this down. You know, which was why I didn't really kind of worry about gluing over there. Because actually I don't really need that flap to be that big. I just need it to be, you know, gluable, if you see what I mean over the other envelope. So I'm just going to fold that down where the flap was. Ooh, hopefully. Like that. Squish that down. Okay. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Someone else must have a car that sounds just like your brother's. Right, and that is going to go like that. They don't all sound the same, do they? And then we're going to put a a little eyelet on there so yeah let's glue these down darling please stop shaking around because um you can use the glue in a second yeah 
so that's on there like that <clears throat> okay I don't think I really used to reinforce envelopes at all um and I think that's uh, that's fine actually to not reinforce them I don't know really why but I've got in the habit of doing it and you know now I feel a bit scared that they're just not going to be strong enough if I don't reinforce them I'm pretty sure that they would be you know um but the other thing that is quite nice is of course when you reinforce them like this it now looks pretty when you open it as well so you know it is a kind of um safety measure <laughs> you know to keep it kind of glued and strong or not glued but keep it strong but also it you know it does have the double double bonus of then looking really really pretty so right let's glue that one down like that right I'm back I actually have switched the light on and to be honest I normally don't really find the light very good um because it just actually makes it you know very shadowy but to be honest I think we can just about get away with the the shadow here because um yeah I really wanted to kind of continue with this with you guys rather than kind of just on my own so basically what I'm doing now is obviously I've oops, glued these bits on I don't know whether we got to that part or not so I've glued these parts on and then in here I'm going to just glue this in so again it's just got that continuity and just kind of matches with the facing sides or with the facing envelopes so just going to put this into this flap again focusing quite a lot on the fold and then all the way around like that Oops. like that and then squish that in there like that like that and then we're just going to be squishing that right the way down and I'm just going to spread that right right around Spread that all over like that okay righty ho and then turn it over like that okay right so this is looking good so I'm just going to cut this down here oops and let's just go in a bit it's not quite so sort of pointy looking well I mean not that it was pointy but you know what I mean it's just rounded off even more than it was okay right so really happy with how that looks and yeah we've got the two little closey bits and then here we've obviously got the fold here again just kind of ooh, try and get it on the fold and then just squish that down like that okay again just mop that out with my wipe okay like that okay so loving how that looks now I've just got to just trim this off slightly because I feel like that's a bit of a weak spot so yeah okay it must have been overhanging slightly I think okay so yeah, that looks really nice, doesn't it? And then what I'm going to do is obviously put some sort of closure on here. Um, now, would this then be the front or this be the front? Well, I guess this would be the front, wouldn't it? If I put the closure on here. So let's just have a look. Because obviously I have got those clusters and things. So, hmm yeah okay so I might do that and then thinking maybe have some sort of like flippy pad or something on here that then yeah oh, it's a tough decision I have to say tough decision here okay right okay let's just tear down a bit of background page to layer up on here so yeah 
Oh, that just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Thinking she has to go on that side, actually. Just from a closing point of view, it kind of needed to um, be on the other side so it closed a bit better. So, yep, let's go around here. Okay. Like that. And just pop that one down. So, again, just spread that glue out like that. Okay. okay. Now, again, I've got this little label that we did earlier as well. So I might have that on there as well. And I'm thinking it just wouldn't be quite right without a little bit of lace somewhere. So, yeah, let's just have a bit of lace on here. Oops. Oh, maybe like that. How gorgeous is that? I love how that is looking. That just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So let's pop this down and I'm going to put this down with the hot glue again so hopefully it's a bit lumpy bumpy like that okay like that oops oh gosh yep yeah, okay and then the cluster is going to go down there so I love how that looks Okay, so let's just pop the whole thing down. And obviously that's just going to hold that lace in place as well. So looking good. Yep, love how that looks. Really, really pretty. Now... Yeah, this is going to go here. Now, I'm just wondering, what do we want to do? I mean, I really, really loved the addition of that ribbon, I must say, that we used earlier. Um, which, obviously, was yesterday for you guys, or a different day, anyway. I don't know whether it would necessarily have been yesterday, but anyway, it's obviously not going to be necessarily yesterday. Um, yeah, I loved, loved, loved this pale blue ribbon, I have to say. So now I can't help but think, oh, do I want to have this as a closure? Because I was going to have one of those kind of policy envelope closures. Or actually, would I prefer to just have some beautiful ribbon and a bow? Because, um, you know, we want this to look a bit like a present, don't we? Yeah, kind of thinking maybe something more like that might be nicer. I mean, we could always have, I guess, you know... A policy envelope closure as well I know that's a little bit a little bit much but you know if I want to have the policy envelope closure we could have them both I guess that's probably a bit overkill but but there's no reason why we couldn't so yeah I really love that um pale blue it's just so pretty isn't it and to be fair that's not really bulking it out at all I thought it might have actually bulked it out but to be honest it doesn't really appear to so yeah I think we can get away with that now wondering as well want to obviously put maybe some bits on here or oh, maybe not the script because that's going to be a bit weird on there isn't it so yeah let's just have this maybe inside somewhere okay Maybe like that. Okay, so let's just tear this down a bit. Let's have it there. Just going to tear this pointy bit down. Yeah, because we just want to kind of collage up a little bit of, um, you know, decorative kind of paper, but um, really on here. So. Let's just see. <clears throat> oh, I'm not sure about that, actually. I always do find it a little bit tricky, actually. I've got to say, 
as to how to do a um you know the inside of an envelope because to be honest it's quite a uh you know tricky piece to do because you don't want it to look really i don't know like uniformly I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know, like you don't want it to look like you've kind of sectioned in bits like a jigsaw puzzle. But that said, it's quite hard not to do that, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, let me just see what bits I've got that would maybe lend themselves quite nicely to being stuck in that middle section. So, hold on. Let me just pull in some of the kind of more ephemera parts of the kit and see whether there's anything there you know that would just lend itself to going oops going in that center piece so hold on hold on hold on right what have i got here uh, i have got this which is quite a nice piece so let's just take that for a minute okay right let's cut this down Now, I haven't um, coffee dyed any of the ephemera pieces either. So, this is, you know, in its naked form. Um, but that's fine because obviously we're going to probably ink this up anyway. So, you know, it will be disguised. Well, not really disguised, but, you know, vintaged, vintaged up. What's happened to this? Right, so I'm thinking kind of if we have it like that, maybe maybe something like that. Or maybe even just kind of leave this more naked with the um Yeah, with the patterns, which actually now I'm thinking, oh I wonder if I could just fussy cut or fussy tear one of these ladies. So hang on. Just tear around her. To be honest, the green one might look better, but hey, let's just go for this one because she's just on the edge of the paper. And I'm only tearing her because actually I think she might get a bit lost if I cut her down. I feel like she maybe needs a bit more, a bit more going on than just being fussy cut. So let me just see. Okay. Oh, how beautiful does that look? I love how that looks. Uh, right, now, do I coffee dye her or do I ink her? That's the question. Oh, this is so tricky. I don't know now what to do. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, it's to ink or to um, coffee dye. I can't decide. Well, let's get these stuck down because I definitely, yeah, definitely like how this is all looking. this one down okay like that. okay and then this here I'm thinking maybe edge this in gold the, the frame piece and I might edge around the flap of the envelope as well so yeah I think that would look quite nice just ink around the edge of here. Oh, this is not the right tool, is it? I need the blendy tool, really. Oh well, let's just just ink her over. Okay. Mm, I'm thinking I should have um, should have just coffee dyed around around this, but never mind. Never mind. Let's just go with it now. Because obviously if I wet this now, that ink will just go really like weird how the ink tends to do. So yeah, I'd probably rather not um, go in and coffee dye in it now. Right, so yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Now let me just bring in my gold paint. So again, let's just... Oops, hold on a second. That's the doorbell. Hang on. Gosh, so sorry about that. That was my mum and dad. So they popped around um, quickly for a cup of tea. So, yeah, um, I'm back now and I can't remember now where we were up to, but I think we were just going to kind of edge some bits in gold, weren't we? And um, finish it off like that. 
uh, I'm a bit thrown now, I can't quite remember where we were up to, but I'm pretty sure that I wanted to put a bit of gold around the edge of whoops, the envelope flap. The fact I've got the gold sat on my desk would kind of suggest that that was, was roughly where I was headed. So I'm just going to get some tissue and put that to the side so that I can kind of hopefully wipe it out of the way. want to try not to put the ribbon into the gold paint. In fact, I'm going to move the ribbon right out of the way. Oh, I hadn't glued those other bits on. Oh, I know what I was about to do. I was going to go around the edge of that oval piece. I've totally forgot. I thought that was perhaps glued down onto the page, but yeah, the fact it's just fallen off reminded me. <laughs> so let's go around here. I mean, it's actually not that late. It's only um, half five. Well, just gone actually, about quarter to six now. But yeah, it's ever so dark, so uh, it feels like it's about eight o'clock. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to chuck some pizzas in a minute, in in a minute into the oven. Uh, yeah, just a casual casual pizza night tonight, I think, because it's Sunday night, school tomorrow. So yeah, pizza will do. Sometimes you just need just something quick and easy, don't you? Right, okay, so that's that. Now, obviously, you just need to go around some of these bits as well. Now, I probably will do something else with the CD case and things. Um, you know, I won't just leave it kind of naked. I'm not sure what I'll do, but I might just put some fussy cuts and things like that on there. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I won't just leave it plain. Um, and the same with this envelope. I will be putting some other bits on there. Um, but I just haven't decided yet what types of things I'm going to be putting there. So I'll probably finish that kind of in slow time, um, particularly as it's getting pretty, pretty late now. Well, you know, dinner time, dinner time late. So, yeah, I should um, should go down and chuck those pizzas in. Right. OK, so just quickly go around here again, just to light on the edge of the envelope. Like that. Bit here. Like that. Okay. And then here as well. So just a bit kind of along there on the crease. And again, maybe actually along here on the crease as well. And then a bit here on the underneath of this. Oh, there's more to this than, than I first thought. Ah, oh, because I've still got to do the outside as well. Um, and the back, I guess, because obviously it's not being glued into a journal or anything. So, you know, every side needs to be golded up, gilded up, gilded. Because otherwise it's not going to be quite, quite right, is it? So I just go underneath, oops, underneath that lace bit as well. Okay. Around here, like that. Yeah, I love the kind of um, feel of Christmas, you know, that you can kind of put all the gold round and you can be, un you know, unapologetically um, gold everywhere. So, yeah, there's a kind of good excuse, isn't there? It's like, oh, it's Christmas. I can get away with getting all the metallics out and the glitter. And, you know, like I said, I haven't got any glitter at the moment. But, um, yes, if I did have glitter, I would no doubt be getting it out. So, there we go. But hey, I think the gold is is nice anyway. So, uh, you know, even without the glitter. So, yeah, don't necessarily need glitter. We can just go for the gold. Going for gold, as they would say. There we go. Right. And then just put a little bit here. Just around that edge. Now, bearing in mind, I probably will put something on this um, flap yet. So, yeah, it's probably not going to stay completely naked. Um probably will put something on whether it's going to be decorative paper or whether it's going to be um you know what do you call it um fussy cuts i'm not quite sure yet but yeah definitely will be finishing off something just want to put a bit more gold on here seems to be lacking lacking on the gold on this piece yeah just <laughs> don't know why but the gold doesn't seem to want to go on this one Oh, okay, right. 
I'm a bit on the edge. Okay, right, so looking gorgeous, isn't it? And then the other bit was obviously this piece. So, oops, bring this back. And yeah, I think that was what I was about to do when the doorbell rang. So I'm just going to put this round here, some gold around the edge, like that. Okay. And just a bit around the edge of here. <clears throat> okay. Right. Yeah. And it just kind of li just lifts that, doesn't it? With just that touch of gold there. So, yeah, I'm going to finish it off like that. So, obviously, I am going to do some other things to this. I haven't kind of quite finished yet. Um, you know, like I say, I'm going to be putting some other papers on or maybe some fussy cuts and things like that. But I haven't quite decided yet. So, I'm going to leave it here for today. Obviously, I am going to have this gorgeous ribbon around. Now, I'm not going to actually put this on just yet. Just in case it's... Um, you know picking up the wet gold so yeah i will i will be gluing that on but not just yet um and then i will be decorating the whole you know the whole rest of it and i might put like i say maybe some um some sort of flippy pad in here i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do this or maybe some pages maybe some pages in there or something i'm not sure but yeah i feel like i would like a little bit more a little bit extra in here somehow so I will just kind of have a look and um, see see what it needs or what it's lending itself to. So I hope that this inspired you. Maybe you, um, you know, are kind of feeling inspired to do something similar. And yeah, I shall be back. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.